After a fishing night last night, we find ourselves in southern Utah at Grand Staircase Escalante National Monument. Subscribe to America's Parks. I'm really happy to be out of that thing. Let me tell you, if you ever come here, if you're a big guy, that was really challenging. And if you get claustrophobic in any way, I would not recommend going through that canyon. Town of Escalante, we're gonna drive five miles east on Highway 12 to Hole in the Rock Road. That road is horrible on the left side. Yeah. Stay in those tracks, John. We don't wanna get stuck out here. I don't know. Maybe the last day we see what this baby's got. We're gonna turn right on Hole in the Rock Road and travel 26.3 miles to Dry Fork Road. We'll turn left going east on Dry Fork Road. Go 0.7 miles to a junction. John, how are you gonna approach this? With some speed. Let's do this. <laughs> is Randy gonna push us if we get stuck? Hold on. I'm not sure if taking it fast is gonna be better. for the next one. Let's do it. Let's take a quick inspection of the car first. <laughs> it was a, a question of traction over momentum. I think we it, needed to be in that kind of in-between. <laughs> you had the momentum, but you weren't. Yeah, I would say you were definitely more momentum than traction. <laughs> Going north now at the junction to follow the road, 0.9 miles to the Dry Fork Trailhead. I don't know about this one. You're not getting a minivan through this. So Andrew, what do you say about that end over there? That's how it's done. You gotta love this. On the Dry Fork Trailhead, follow the well-used trail north for one mile as it descends to the bottom of Dry Fork Coyote Gulch. All right, guys, everything you need to live off the grid. Tuna fish, some bread to place it on. Can't go wrong with peanut butter. None of this needs refrigeration. Some fresh fruit, meat, replenish the electrolytes. Comfort food, protein, there's your source of vegetables. This is about a 27 mile drive and then a one mile hike to get to the trailhead. The goal today is to hit two slot canyons, kind of with funny names too, Peekaboo Canyon and Spooky Canyon. If you have a four wheel drive, you can actually drive to the trailhead itself. We weren't allowed to make it this far with our car. I'm actually thankful we made it as far as we did. As you can see, I don't know how that guy got up here. He's probably not allowed, but for the most part, it's all high clearance. All right, so we are making our way out to the canyon. It is gorgeous out here. The one thing I always love, and I say this many times about the BLM lands, Bureau of Land Management, is that most people don't come out here. So you pretty much have the whole place to yourself. They are untamed by man, very few restrictions, and the sights are incredible. So right now we're walking on a very uneven rock surface. It's gonna take us to the opening of the first canyon, but the good thing is they have a lot of rock cairns here. Let's sort of mark the path for you. Made to the mouth of our first canyon. Gotta get up there. Hold on, we got some friends here. <laughs> yeah. We got some friends here. How you hey, guys doing? Hey. Good to see you. America's hey, Parks. So we went to America's Parks. Now you're back. Now you're doing two videos. Yeah. yeah. Look at that. So this is Jan and I'm Mike. So just right. Jan and Mike. Jan and Mike. Uh, don't leave your address. You might get some uh, yeah, yeah. visitors well, we, we, that we, might we, show up for did, dinner or something like that. We did check out your... your. Oh, great. Did you like it? Oh, good. Yeah. I thought so, yeah. Well, you know... No, 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 no. I was just, you know... Disappointed that we weren't up on it. Oh, oh yeah. Guys, come on. Be patient with me. Right. We might have to do a time lapse on that, Randy. <laughs> got some water. We got to work our way through, so we switched up the shoes and. Uh, we're gonna stop walking on the edge of these cliffs and do it the easy way. The Just go straight through the water. Good thinking. Here you go. <laughs> That's my advice for you guys as well. This is cold and this is deep. There's like nothing to grab. Can't get up there? Want me to push you? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't want to pull a hamstring here on this thing. 
two, three. Keep your shoes off. Try it up here. Woo. All right, we got a skinny passageway here. You can actually go underneath. We went over the top. Oh, man. Wow, look at this. It's really tight though. If you're thin. Oh, I don't know if I'm gonna get thin. Yeah, you're gonna crawl right into the pool. This is where you don't want to get caught in the flat Exactly. Gotta keep the finale, it'll get better. Who brought the drone? <laughs> you better get some good shots after all the work you're putting into that one. Did you get this shot? Don't do this if you're claustrophobic. My knees were better. This would be like my favorite thing in the world. So as the guy said, that was really impressive. Definitely a challenge to make it through that slot canyon. Probably the, the skinniest slot canyons I've ever traversed in my entire life. Probably one of the most challenging as well. A few technical skills involved in making it all the way through. Definitely gonna have to walk in water or be very limber and agile like Mr. Tim back there that kind of climbed over the top of everything. But beyond that, that was amazing. So that was Peekaboo Canyon that we just finished a little while ago. And now we are in Spooky Canyon. And it starts off a little wider. And we understand that it's probably gonna get skinny as well, just like the last one. This has been an amazing adventure on an absolutely gorgeous day today. Hey, once I get your hand, you're not going anywhere, okay? Here, okay, shake okay, hands, shake hands, shake hands, shake, shake hands. You're not going in. Once I got your hand, you're not going in. Yeah, step across. You're not going in. Good job. Yeah. Good job. Great job. This is a very intense ending for these guys. You know what? Here at America's Parks, I can stand here all day and just assist and serve people. So we can do along the rim and kind of straddle the canyon. You're about uh, 10 feet up in the air. Or go down into the canyon and walk along the base on the ground. I think I'm going. I'm going down in, I think. Oh, you touch the bottom, man. Where do you go from here? On the side, over the top? Yeah, I don't think this is the way to go down, Johnny. There's no way. I mean, I'm looking at about a 15 foot drop here. All right, I'm officially stuck. Hey, John, if you could pull me on that side, and Tim, Give me a good shove on this side. I'm not going anywhere. So this canyon's about the same length as the last one. The other one got skinny and got wide at certain points. This one's basically skinny all the way through. Wow, John, what do we do here? We're going down in? Oh yeah. Or straddling the top? Nope, because it goes down, man. So he straddled the top. We're, We're going down, down in the water. water. Oh, so they're saying- Is this the one where the water's like five feet deep as well? Yeah, I haven't hit the five feet deep water yet. 
No, we're going down, man. We no have way. to go down? There's no way. We're going down into we're going down into that? We're going down into that. That's skinnier than before. We need that here in the water. Kane's got these little knobby rocks on the outside, so normally you do a slot canyon, it's relatively smooth. But here you kind of when you brush up against the wall, you scrape up your body. So we're all bleeding already. Wow. This is pretty impressive though. Let's nice. hope this is the best way to get through here. Check that out, man. That is going to be a very oh, narrow squeeze right here. It just keeps getting more narrow. Definitely no way to make it up top, so you got to work your way through this canyon. Just keep moving. No sense in turning right now. Yeah. This is not made for bigger guys, especially size 13 feet. I can't get my foot through. Guys, you're not going to believe this. What? You got about a eight foot drop, the huge pool of water below. That's what you were talking about. It gets darker down here too. I mean, people have done this before, right? Let's go. We're not the first ones. We're right back there? Good. I'll take the drone. I got it. Got it. Definitely can't do that. Oh. The backpack. I can't suck it in anymore. I'm so tired of these knobby things. They just rip your body to shreds. Yes. He didn't do it before, so yeah. He didn't even know. See, this was the impetus he needed there. Okay. You know? Yeah. When you thought you were at the end, you reached a point where you literally could not fit through the canyon. Maybe I should try to crawl. I literally, I literally can't move. I can't move. to be out of that canyon. Let me tell you something, if you ever come here and you're a big guy, I think twice about doing this. And if you're claustrophobic in any way, don't even consider it. That might have been one of my most unique adventures. All right guys, in addition to avoiding this if you're big and avoiding this if you're claustrophobic, a couple other tips I can give you if you come out here. Wear um, long sleeve shirt and a long sleeve pair of pants because those knobs on the side of the wall are just going to shred your skin, which has happened to basically all of us. We're all we're all bleeding. Um, make sure as well you wear some old shoes. If you come like we came after the rain, there's a lot of water in the canyon and the water's almost unavoidable. You're going to get wet and you're going to get very muddy. And the last tip is I would suggest if you do this loop, they go in a clockwise direction. I think that will make it more manageable. Well, this will do it for Grand Staircase Escalante National Monument. If you haven't done so yet, we'd appreciate it if you could subscribe to our channel. Remember, there's room for you. Well, maybe not this time. On our next National Park Adventure. God bless you. Have a great day. Keep it going.